Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Or, Hey friends, welcome to the vlog channel. Okay, so I just got home. I'm a lot scatterbrained, a lot. Um, oh, Sam, huh? He has to work late today and like late, late. Um, long story, but he has to work late. And so we were supposed to go to dinner with our friends like a group of our married friends tonight. And he can't go, but I'm going because a girl got to eat. Um, so I have to leave in like 20 minutes. So I'm just trying to figure out, I was supposed to get a package today from Old Navy. I got a coat from them and then like it was shipped and then I changed my mind. Well, it like wasn't here yet. And, um, I found another coat that I like, so I just went ahead and filled out the paperwork to return it, but it hasn't arrived yet. Hmm, okay, it still says out for delivery, so it could still come today. I don't know, I just wanted to make sure I didn't like mess anything up. I mean, it'd be my luck. Um, okay. So, I have to leave very soon, like 20 minutes. Last day with braces. <sighs> I'm so excited. Tomorrow I'm going to do a quick little Q&A after I get my braces removed with you guys. I asked you some questions on Instagram just to make sure if you guys had anything you needed to ask that I covered it. And I did get a lot of the same. A lot of the same questions. Um, so, excuse me, I have hiccups. I went ahead today and got so I got these little threaders or whatever they're called for um under because I'm getting a, another permanent retainer put back in because that's what broke last time that messed up my teeth and she asked if I wanted one and I was like uh heck yeah and I also got floss but this is unwaxed dental floss and it is terrible don't ever get unwaxed apparently that's not a thing I was just trying to be different but I got these it's the antibacterial denture cleanser from Publix brand. Um, that is what we do, or at least I think they do the, still do the clear retainers that are like the Invisalign looking retainers and that's what you have to clean them with. I'm almost positive that's what the retainers still are. I hope that's what they are. Um, so that's just like what you have to clean them with in the daytime. So, okay. I wanted to show you one more quick thing before I have to jump off. My hair is in a disgustingly low mess of fun. But I'm going to just quickly change my outfit. Hold on. But I'm gonna just quickly change my outfit from um, like day to night, I guess, like from work to play. <laughs> um, I do have to touch up my makeup. I forgot to put my primer on this morning and I noticed that now that I'm like not using primer, I notice a lot more of my oil coming through. So I keep my makeup in this thing now. I'll link it below, it's from Amazon. Um, just cause like, I'm trying to like do that on purpose. I want to like not have an overwhelming amount of makeup. And so this is one of those like things that we had in middle school that keeps all your makeup like all nice and put together. So I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how I change up my look and my outfit. So, first of all, we need to powder a little bit. Like, ya girl is shiny. So, when I come home from work, if I have somewhere to go, what I'll do is I touch up my powder first, and then without any excess bronzer, just run it over. This is my bronzer brush. Probably didn't do anything, but. And then same thing for my eyeshadow. And mascara. Now, what is Really, I'm getting lash extensions next week, by the way, so thank God for that. Um, what's really gonna make a big difference is the lip color. So 
During the day, I've started just doing like clear, oh, I did not put this back together right. I've started just doing like clear gloss when I'm going to work because I mean, I mean, there's just no need to like use all my expensive makeup stuff. So I had clear on and then usually I'll eat lunch, won't reapply it. But I'm going to put on now my Jeffree Star lip kit, lip combo. I don't know what you would choose to call it. Sorry, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So I look literally am about to run out the door. So, I use the Morphe by Jeffree Star in the color Mannequin, and then I use the Morphe by Jeffree Star Gloss in the color Star Crown. So what I've been doing, and I love it, is put a little bit on on. Just makes a little bit of a difference. Nothing super crazy. And then the lip gloss. You have to be very careful with these lip glosses. They are intense. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then what I'm changing it into. Okay, so this is what I wore to work today. Like I said, my hair was in just like a low messy bun because I didn't really feel like washing it. Um, I have on a gray sweater that I got from Loft last season, some black leggings and then black heels. We can wear leggings at work if our booty's covered. So that's what I'm kind of going to base my outfit off of today. I'm not gonna change the leggings. I'm not gonna change the sweater. I'm literally just gonna put on a jacket and change my shoes. Okay, so it's time for another closet clean out. My closet is way too full. So these were just the Aldo booties that I had. And I'm changing into my all time favorite Vince Camuto booties. Okay, missed my foot. Okay. And then. but still warm this is what I'm wearing to dinner so same exact sweater just threw on a jean jacket leggings and then my Vince Camuto booties so just a little work casual to just casual casual all right so I've I'm sorry I am like all over the place but I've got to get going running out with my friends now and then next time you guys see me God, I hope Sam's home. So, we'll chat later. Look who I got. I miss him. You make me for dinner. I'm out of Um, the Texas Roadhouse kitchen staff was gonna make your dinner, and you opted out of that. I asked him, I called him. I said, what do you want? And my watch died today. My watch is acting up. Did you Apple's watch? Apple watches ever mess up? So yesterday, or the last two days I've worked out. Now it's been on my treadmill. I've never had this issue before. And the, the two of the three times I've worked out on my treadmill, it didn't register. Like it didn't get the entire workout. So although I'd been on the treadmill actively working out for like 30 minutes, it would only say I'd been doing it for 12. And then today, it died. Like... At dinner, which was we left for dinner. I think we got there at like six fifteen. When was the last time you charged it? I charge it every night. And usually it like when I put it on the charger at nighttime I have like just under like thirty or forty percent. And I haven't been using it in every moment. I don't know. So I guess we'll see. But I mean I have insurance on it, I think. So I don't think you do. Because your husband told you you should get it, and you said, nah. Well, we'll figure it out, but my watch is dead. Um, I was doing a quick little vlog on here earlier. I was spazzing out because I came home. I got home, it was like 5, I think it was 520, 516, 520, and I had to be down at their house at like 535. 
That's what time I left. So, I just was like a mess. Well, we're having dinner with my parents tomorrow. Don't forget. Oh. You're tomorrow, not. Tomorrow soccer night. Nope. Oh, Lord. Okay. Come on, focus. Hey, guys. So, I'm at the orthodontist right now. It is 1037. I am so excited. Um, totally worth it. 100% five months. I'm, I cannot wait. So, I'm gonna go inside. My appointment's at 1050. I have an ulcer in my mouth and I really tried to get rid of it before today because it just like hurts so bad and they're gonna have my hands in my mouth and it's just gonna keep hurting, but that's okay. So, I just, I can't wait. I don't know how long it's gonna take. They said it could take up to two hours, I think, because they have to do like records and everything after that. So, yeah, let's go do it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, so let me take, hold on. Okay, so my braces are off. So pretty. I have a lot of just like dental issues. Um, so let me put this retainer back in. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so I have a lot of dental issues. I'm gonna have to relearn how to talk with this retainer in. Basically, last time I got my braces taken off, I found out I had three cavities. They think I have three cavities today. And they can't put my permanent retainer on until I get them filled because they are on the front bottom teeth. So, I have to call my dentist and figure out when I can go see them to get my cavities taken care of. And then I have to come back to get my permanent retainer. But, so happy, but I am like, so beyond thrilled that I did this it I almost was crying like when I went into the bathroom um the first time like I looked at my teeth and I just like kind of cheered up a little bit and I was like you need to get it together just like best best decision I ever made was this like apart from deciding to marry Sam this was the best decision ever <sighs> okay so now that I've had some time to calm down from what what just happened, um, okay, so not even that big of a deal. I, okay guys, so now that I have calmed down a little bit, I'm just so frustrated. I think I, I'm really frustrated because I, I'm sorry I'm talking weird, this retainer is odd. Um, I was so excited to get my braces off and then I went in and they were like, and you want a permanent retainer, right? And I said, yeah. And they were like, well, we can't put it on until you get your cavities fixed or potential. They think they're cavities. So, um, I don't have dental insurance, my choice. And I know there's probably a lot of people cringing at that, but I just like, can't do the dentist. It terrifies me. Can't do it. Um, and so I'm, I, I just am a mess. So I, I'm like, oh, great, I don't have dental insurance, which isn't a huge deal. Cause like my um, dentist takes like payments or whatever, but apparently they changed and now they use a different provider for that. And so I was just having to like get approved. And I was just, I think I was just scrounging around all over the place and I was so frustrated because I thought like this was gonna be it. I got my braces off and it was all gonna be over with. And then they were like, no, we think you have some cavities. So I'm going on Monday to get them if like a cleaning and then see if they are they need to be fixed. They'll fix the cavities. Um, I had a lash extensions appointment on Monday. I had to cancel that. So that's a little bit disappointing because like, do you see these scrawny little things? They're ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I, I so, not that big of a deal, but it's over with now. I'm happy that my braces are off, like beyond anything, even though I look like this, because also like on top of the frustration of finding out I have potentially, I think three cavities is what they said. This retainer is like the Invisalign style and it's, so it's like deep in my mouth and it's rubbing on the ulcer, so it really hurts. But I wanted to just quickly finish this vlog out and cover what I told you guys I was gonna kind of do like a quick q and A. I got some questions on like, you know, braces and stuff like that. So I will say I went to Higginbotham and Nice in Spartanburg. They were who I went to to get my original braces. Amazing staff, like so incredible. 
I don't ever plan on doing this again, but if I did, that's who I go to if like this practice is still open when my kids need braces, my kids will go to Higginbotham and Nice. So if you are in like the Spartanburg, Duncan or Gaffney area, I believe is where they have their offices, then you definitely need to check them out. I'm in South Carolina, by the way. So I got a lot of questions with my little Q and A on, would you go back and do this line instead? No, because I wanted to talk about that. So I originally wanted Invisalign. I looked at Invisalign, Small Direct Club, all of those like people. And I actually went to Dr. Neese. Like I ha had talked to a guy from Smile Direct Club. I looked at all of the programs and I went and all of them said, we can't do the permanent, like we can't do the, the Invisalign basically if you have a permanent retainer. So I went to him and I had him remove the permanent retainer. This is back before I got my braces. And I asked him cause he's actually an Invisalign provider. And he was just like, I don't think Invisalign would work for you. And he kind of started explaining basically that my teeth, what needed to happen to them, Invisalign can't do. And I would have never known that and I would have spent my money on that if, you know, I wouldn't have had an actual orthodontist look at my teeth. Not just like look at impressions or look at pictures or whatever, like actually physically be there and see what needs to happen to my teeth. Also, um, some things, my teeth did some things that they didn't need to do. So I had, bless you, Sasha. I had two or three teeth, I think, that like moved in ways that like they weren't supposed to and they had to fix that. So had I had Invisalign, like who would have fixed that? You know, you, you get your set trays like ahead of time. So, um, if I could go back and do it again, I would not do it with Invisalign. I would do it a hundred percent. Sashi, you okay? I would do it, um, the exact same way, like just over again. Um, did you consider doing Invisalign? Yes, or just the braces? I actually didn't want the braces, but when he was telling me, oh, also the price. So I looked at every single package. Invisalign, like I said, Smell Direct, everybody. It was going to take a certain amount of time and a certain price. Almost all of them had the exact same price and the exact same time frame. It took half the money and half the time to get my mouth fixed with braces. So just throwing that out there. I know it sucks, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. How expensive? Um, so just to be fully transparent, it was $900 the first time I went to get them on. So that was getting them on, getting x-rays, getting uh, my records, like, any, that was my retainer, that covers my retainers, that covers my permanent retainer, 900 bucks, and then everything after that was 180 until they came off. So, not very expensive. That first little bit was like pretty expensive, but after that, I mean, what the big deal. What was your favorite and least favorite part of braces? My favorite part was I got my teeth fixed. My least favorite part was picking food out of my teeth. That was repulsive. I literally, after every single meal, would have to go to the bathroom and I would brush my teeth and I still would have like food stuck in my braces and so I'd have to take the little pick and I'd have to just, it was really annoying. So yeah, it, it was absolutely repulsive and so unprofessional. Like before every meeting, I would have to be like, okay, my teeth are clean, my teeth are clean, my teeth are clean. And I could never eat during meetings. Like if we had like a lunch meeting because have you tried to eat salad with braces? It's repulsive. Was anything different the second time having them? Actually, yes. So apparently there are something called like fast track braces or like adult braces and they're smaller and they're meant to actually move your teeth faster. To my understanding, um, I saw a little thing about that on my orthodontist's wall. And I don't know, it was just very like, it was fast. And um, I contribute a lot of what I went through to my orthodontists, a hundred percent. Like he knew, um, and I guess I should say she, there's now actually a, a female at the practice. Um, they knew I wanted them off quickly. They knew that I did YouTube or do YouTube and I'm a blogger. So they know that like I'm constantly on camera. They understood that and they worked with me and that was what I love so much about them. Um, I think had they been like, Oh, nope, you're going to need them for two years. And this is absolutely it. I would have been like, uh, bump that like, you know, I'm not doing it, but they are awesome. Um, have they made it easier by now? It's kind of the same process. My brackets were a little bit smaller and a little bit different, but 
yeah, no, it's pretty much the same. Um, so overall, I'm very, 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 very happy that I did it. If I had to do it over again, I would. And, and I mean that. I didn't realize how unhappy my teeth made me until I was in the process of getting them fixed. And I will go ahead and put up some pictures right here that I have taken of my teeth, like before and after. And I'll sh like, it was worth it. And I know that being 24 with braces sucked, but it was five months. It was really fast. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to have good teeth. I'll take it. So thanks guys. So ooh, I fell. Thanks guys so much for watching. Um, I really do hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for letting me vent a little bit about my frustrations. I'm, I'm really mad at myself because I always try to take good care of my teeth because I don't like going to the dentist. So to have not one, but multiple cavities or suspected cavities is like really infuriating because but I mean it's not something I can help so yeah just thank you guys I am so glad that they're off I'm so glad that I did this if you are someone who wants to get braces and they just tell you it's like less than six months do it it's so worth it so thanks guys so much for watching like I've said 17 times I'm so grateful. Make sure to subscribe to our vlog channel if you are new here. Um, I don't think we will have a vlog up. There might be one up Friday. I have no idea. In the next few weeks, you're going to be busy. But thanks, guys. Love ya.